read your Bible, even the horse was not yet formed. So definitely, God was not walking on the water on the horse. So definitely, this is something that was happening far beyond in the heavenly realm. Amen. When you read your Bible, you will get the knowledge. Amen. I cannot convince you. So I'm really blessing you know what God put in my heart. And they said, continue and go and say, let there be light. And there was light. There God used word and said it. So you see how your word that comes out of your mouth can bring light and can bring darkness for you. Whatever comes out of your mouth is powerful. And here God is saying that there be lies and there was life. But I'm going to tell you something today that actually the village I got, that lies actually came from the darkness. So in another word, the darkness is also light, but another form of light that is dim. That God is right. It's another form of light that is very dim, that God actually dimmed to the point that they cannot even see the light. But when it is actually adjusted, it becomes that power light. And there God is saying, let there be light. To support this, I'm going to jump all the way. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to go on to Genesis 1 verse 16 to support this, that I'm saying. And it said, and Genesis 1 verse 16, and God makes two great lights. It has two great lights. That's what I'm saying. So you might be saying, what is he talking about? Oh, the darkness door to light. It's another form of light. So we're getting it. The Bible says it. If we read our Bible so much, it's just for the revelation that there's two different kind of lights, and in Genesis 1 verse 16, it's saying, and God made two lights. The greater light is ruled during the day, and the lesser light is ruled in the night. So in the night, what do we see? We see darkness, right? But that light is not brighter, like the light during the day. It's a light that seems like it's dim. Have you ever brought a, a lamp where you can dim it so though? You can make it brighter, something like that. They got the people got a revelation from the Bible. Hey man, if you read the Bible, you will get revelation for your business that you want to form. Hallelujah. And so he said in 16, said, and God made two lights. He never said God made two the darkness, and so he said God made two lights. The greater light to rule in the day and the lesser light to rule the night. So this form of light that was actually on the heart, it was dark. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. So when any time there is light in your life, it becomes firm and it's not going to be void because you will definitely see where you're going. That means your vision becomes clear. You know, vision is seeing something and hallelujah. So your vision becomes clear. Today, ask yourself, are you in the greater light or are you in that dim light? Because whatever is going around you, you will tell what category you are. And you know, people love the dim light. Some people love the dim light because in the night time, they can do whatever they want to do. The bedroom time, the whatever time, the clubbing time, everything they do is in the dim light. Because they said it's dim and God will not see. Hallelujah. But in fact, God can see you in that dim light. Let's be careful what we do. Yeah, they are both great lights. But yes, our God is greater. So I'm going to continue. And then Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So now if they say there is two, we're going to go into understanding. If they say there is two great lights, do they make different? What kind of lights are they? Dim lights or bright lights? It's all lights, right? And you just am the light of the world. In another word, the devil have nothing. Nothing to hold on to. The devil is void. The devil have no power over Jesus. Because Jesus can say, I am the light of the world. That may control the day, control the night. So the light that you need in your life, you need the light of Jesus Christ. When you have the light of Jesus Christ in you, it becomes clear. Then you gain knowledge and understanding. So nobody can fool you because these days there's so much, so much, everybody's talking. 
Everybody. And people love it. They love the drama. But sometimes you got to read your Bible and understand where God is leading you. May the lights of God shine upon you today. Because what the lights of God that shine on the on, on the darkness of the heart that was not yet formed. It was the light of God. They said God was moving upon the face of the water. And if God is light, when it's moving, don't you see that light will definitely shine upon the darkness? Hallelujah. Sometimes we need God to give us wisdom to think greatly. So the Spirit of God definitely is light. And so I'm going to continue on to um, Genesis 1 verse 4. And it said, And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. In other words, light and darkness, they were all there. So what will make God divide the light from the darkness? It definitely, when he divides the light from the darkness, they become days and nights. They were both great lights. But there was light that was dim called darkness, and there was light that was brighter, which is glorious. Got it. Amen. So if you want to go do light business, you can make a light that you can dim and make it brighter. It's business. Hallelujah. So I'm going to continue. And in verse 5, and God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And we already read the other Bible verse that supported it. it was two great lights. So even when the devil is claiming the darkness, it doesn't belong to the devil. It's actually everything belongs to God. Everything belongs to God. When we come to know this, that everything belongs to God, we claim our blessing. We take dominion. And that's what actually God wanted, that we take dominion because everything belongs to him. There was never inheritance given to the devil. It was given to us. Hallelujah. 